The problem of suicide among military members and veterans has long been a focus for the Pentagon, Veterans Administration, and Congress. In an effort to try to understand the issue better, the Department of Defense last month unveiled a study that looked at what military jobs have the highest rates of suicide. The result? The report found that the jobs with elevated risk of suicide included roles in infantry, ordnance disposal and diving, combat engineering, medical care, and occupations for technical specialists not elsewhere classified. As the challenge of reducing suicide among the military community continues, lawmakers are hoping the report can facilitate constructive action. Senator Angus King of Maine, who sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee, said in a statement, these key findings show trends that will guide the DOD in its effort to curb suicide rates and hopefully save lives. The report used data starting in 2011 through 2022 on nearly 6,000 military suicide deaths, because before that, the Pentagon did not have reliable information. Here's what the report found. Enlisted service members in infantry were found to have higher suicide mortality rates than those from 21 other occupation codes. That was followed by service members with job codes for ordnance disposal and diving, combat engineering, medical care, and technical specialists not elsewhere classified. Additionally, 14 occupation codes had evidence of a higher suicide mortality rate as compared to the civilian U.S. adult population. Of those, the three with the highest adjusted rates were occupation codes in infantry, armor and amphibious, and combat engineering. U.S. population suicide data for those comparisons was available through 2021 at the time the report was authored. Meanwhile, enlisted troops with an occupation code for not occupationally qualified and for officer candidates and students had a lower suicide rate than 38 other occupation codes. Let's take a closer look at data on each of the services. In the Army, soldiers in occupation codes for infantry, combat engineering, and armament and munitions showed strong evidence of higher suicide mortality rates than the rate for the total enlisted Army population. But soldiers in other occupation codes like data processing, other functional support, and officer candidates and students had strong evidence of lower rates. Also, only the Army had occupation codes with enough data to make a comparison to the total Army officer suicide rate. Helicopter pilots and ground and naval arms had suicide rates consistent with that rate. In the Navy, only sailors in the occupation code for law enforcement had strong evidence of a higher suicide mortality rate than the total enlisted Navy rate. Marines in the occupation code for infantry had a higher suicide rate than the total enlisted Marine Corps rate, while those in the occupation code for not occupationally qualified had a lower rate. With the Air Force, all occupation codes had suicide mortality rates consistent with the total enlisted Air Force rate, except for those in the occupation code for not occupationally qualified, which had a lower rate. During the time reviewed, the Coast Guard experienced relatively low suicide death counts per year, making a comparative analysis difficult. And established in 2019, the Space Force was excluded from the analysis since there were no deaths by suicide in the service between 2019 and 2022. For Military Times, I'm Jonathan Lairfeld.